Hello guys and you're welcome. So before I actually begin the devlog, I quickly want to show you what I uh, did and I'll explain how I uh, achieved it. So basically all I did was to work on the uh, bitmap font. So if you actually see the time right now, you can see the seconds counting down. So that's what we actually just worked on this uh, this day. So and basically our portals now, if I press up, she can uh, transport to this location. If I press down, she can get back down to this location as well. So I'll just go ahead and show you the uh, timer for the bitmap font. Now, the reason why I decided to try out the bitmap font was because it gives you a uh, really customizable text. and uh, It's much more memory efficient. And there's a lot you can actually do with a uh, bitmap font. And you can actually see we're using the... Uh, oops, sorry. I'm just go ahead and get rid of this. Nope, thanks. So we can actually see the uh, difference between this uh, bitmap font here and the regular font. So let me just go ahead and quickly show you how I set this uh, bitmap font up. So I'll just go ahead and minimize that and close it. So first I created an object, which is a bitmap font object. Uh, it's right, actually right here. So it says a bitmap text and it, says it displays a text using a bitmap font, which is basically an image representing characters. So I'll show you that image that we actually used in GDevelop to create that uh, bitmap font. So I'll just go ahead and quickly close this. So that's why I had this uh, font right here. Uh, let me see, it's in my Dropbox, GDevelop projects. I think I call that uh, font. And here it is. So this is the uh, font I created. It's a uh, modified version of a Minecraft font, which I got online and basically uh, kind of like created this font so I'll just go ahead and zoom in so like so so this is the font we actually uh, I'm actually using in G develop which is this one actually right here that has the uh, countdown timer and the timer by the way is a simple uh, change the text of time and I'm going to set that to string and um, using a round to set the timer to two decimal places so basically it's a to string and we're going to get the time elapsed time for the timer called game time and I'm running it to two significant figures right so if I don't have this it's going to give me a set of numbers but I could just say round two we specify the number and give it the decimal places so I just wanted to do uh, give me the time in two decimal places if I wanted it in three decimal places I'll just use three click OK and let's just save that and let's click preview and hopefully we can see the time in three decimal places. So you can actually see we're having uh, three decimal places right here. So that's what the round does. Very um, useful and helpful uh, script. And I also um, have a timer here called game time and I'm starting that game time. So it just counts the time that has elapsed when that game is uh, running. So basically that's just a quick way to set that up. So uh, for the fonts, actually, I use a, uh, I actually tried three uh, softwares and basically these are recommended by uh, the D develop. So I'll just go ahead and show you. So if you open up the uh, font and you click on help, this is going to open a uh, web, uh, short documentation, right? It's going to open up the G develops documentation. And within that documentation, there are some very useful links to sites where you can create your bitmap font. All right, so you can actually browse, you know, online, just Google search for some cool fonts. You can go to Open Game Art and get those fonts. Now, I tried these softwares, each of them, and the one I really like, I use a Windows system, so I just tried Snowbee and BM fonts. I didn't even try uh, Hero. But I really like Snowbee because Snowbee is web-based. So let me just show you Snowbee. Uh, so this is the interface of Snowbee, and you can actually save and export your file when you're done. And the good thing about Snowbee is you can actually use gradients to customize your font. So uh, let's say, for instance, you downloaded a font. I downloaded these fonts from the internet. So I have one called Minecraft. I have one called, uh, let me just go ahead and see that bitmap. It's called a bitmap font. I have this one here called font. So let me just open up the retro computer. So once you open this, it's going to bring out the text as a glyph and you can actually see the content here. So what you can actually start doing is to set the size of the font. So I didn't know that. I actually thought I could set the size of the uh, 
bitmap font within uh, gdevelop but you cannot set the size of your font if you want to set the size that means you have to um, export your font at a particular size so just test it out and see which size you want so i set mine to i think 13 like that so i'm just gonna have a small font because it's a small uh size the game like so so that's how the font is going to come out if i need this to be another color i'll just click on color and i'll just set this to whatever color that is and you can actually see that you have that font set in that color as well so what you can actually do is to also create a gradient between two colors so i'll just go ahead and select this and set it to like green and select a green value and for the other end of this slider i'll just click on this and select orange because i'm really terrible at this so yeah so you can actually see uh, let's just bump this up so we can clearly see our uh, our font like so and what we ac can actually do is to add a stroke as well so this you can actually see this is really cool and it gives it uh, this nice effect for the text you can increase the width of the stroke and you can change the color of the stroke and even set another gradient as well so for this color I'm just going to do something really subtle and what I'm going to do is to set the width to a value of 1 and just leave the font as it is so if you're actually satisfied with this and you're good with that, we can even add a shadow to the font as well. So you can actually see, you can play around with this. You can, you know, change things, but just to have a unique character set for your game. So, uh, yeah. So with that said, if you want to export this, what you can do is just give it a name. So I'll just call this uh, Hulk uh, BMF. I'll call that Hulk BMF and to export it oops so uh I, sorry i accidentally clicked here so i have a new one so right now what i can do is uh, let me set this back to 13 size 13 and what i can do is just drag this sharp slider so i can make this uh, quite sharp so i think i don't like this shadow it's uh, kind of like too much so i'll just tone that down a bit so what we can do now is to click on export now if you click on export what um, snow b is going to do is to export this including the image so you don't need to uh, export the image but in case you need the image you can just right click and say save image as and this is going to save this image but what i just like to do is to export this so uh if you're actually nice and happy with this if you want to add some padding let's say i would add one and one so that you can actually select this well it's recommended the develop has recommended you add some padding to your text so we're actually going to work on that as well so we can add some padding to it to make it you know kind of like nice and readable and you can click on export and this is going to say hulk bmf dot font dot text and basically i found out this one works well the last one the uh hulk bmf the dot font file but bm font xml i found that found out this one works with gdevelop i didn't get any errors i got little slight errors with the other ones but this one works best and what i'm going to do is just click on save so right now i have saved my hulk you know uh, bmf zip file so i'll just open this and just go right here and right click i'm going to extract that file so right now i have the hulk bmf i'll just right click copy and i'll send it to my uh g develop projects folder and where i have my fonts i'll go ahead and drop this one as well because i like having them in my project and if you open this you can see we have a uh, hulk bmf dot fnt file and we have the hulk bmf so let's go ahead and jump into g develop and I'll show you how you can do that. So let's create a new one and let's create a uh, bitmap text. And right off the bat, I'm just going to call it the uh, Hulk text, like so. So now I'll call that Hulk text. We'll just slide down right here where it's going to ask you for the font and image. So let's click on the font and say choose file. And right here, let's go to our fonts. Let's go to Hulk BMF and let's click on Hulk bmf.fnt so now that that's in there let's go ahead and select the image so let's just uh, click out here and click on the bitmap atlas image click on choose a file go back to our fonts folder where i have this hulk bmf and we can actually click on the image if you do this properly you should see the image and the font as well or else you'll know you haven't uh, done that properly 
and here for the tint I'll just leave this at that and there we have it so we have the uh, Hulk text There's always a default text when you drag text in so let's just drag that and see so this is uh, a <laughs> this is what we get right here so it says this text uses the default uh, I'll just drag this here and let's just play the scene so we can actually see that within our scene as well oops I think I have to uh, kind of like walk over here because my player is all that all the way over there and we can actually see the uh, font right here this is another one I created called badass font because I kind of like like how this uh, squares are just there but basically you can see we can actually customize and use this in any way we want I think it's much more better than the default text and I believe everything works normally right so let's go ahead and see this if we want to set the same uh, counter so what I'm going to do is to uh, just copy this and just paste it down here so we're doing this for time two let's go ahead and do that for uh, instead of time two I think I called it uh, is it Hulk okay Hulk text so let's go ahead and just set this and let's change it to Hulk text like so and Hulk text should automatically be uh, have that same uh, property right here let me just uh, open this let me open my notepad in case anyone uh, is interested in using this so I'll just go ahead and copy this and display it on the screen so that anyone who really wants to uh, use this can use it basically we're just changing the text variable and we're setting it to the timer so let's just paste this right here and I'll just copy this I think I can zoom right yeah, I can I can zoom in okay here we go it's control and plus so I could just zoom in and I'll just uh, I don't think I, I might okay I could just zoom in without selecting it so this is the uh, short little uh, function that I'm running so this is a text and I'm concatenating this using the to string method and I'm rounding the timer elapsed time of the timer called game time to three significant figures so if you want that to two you can change this to two and the timer we created is just at the beginning of the scene we can just start or reset a timer called game time and basically if we click on add action you can just do a timer like so so you can actually say a start or reset a scene timer and you can give that timer that name let's so just say Hulk timer so we actually have a timer right now called Hulk timer and we could just uh, oh, it's I said H L U K timer that's terrible it's supposed to be H U L K not look but Hulk cool so we have a Hulk timer and we can actually change the value of our timer in case this timer has elapsed so the timer of a timer called Hulk timer yeah so just that so that's how we can uh, work with this font so now that we've tried that with the Hulk timer let's save our scene and see if Hulk timer is going to be uh, updating again I just needed to uh, set my player over there so I don't need to kind of like walk over and check it so we can actually see the time for Hulk timer actually uh, updating as well and you can see it's quite sharp it uh, you know it looks at the resolution and uh, finally another thing I'd like to uh, point out is you need to check the properties to remove uh, anti-aliasing on the bitmap font or else it's going to uh, um, appear blurry in a way so I think that's where the uh, thing is and we can change that in properties I don't really remember where it is because I'm still new to G develop but I believe we can go to uh, properties and I think we can select okay it's not here really sorry about that guys if I if I can't like remember where the uh, properties are I can just use that and uh, kind of like uh, show you where you can change that but it's actually in the properties in case you don't want your uh, if you're running a pixel game you need to actually set it from there let's see our uh, game settings 
exactly so it's in our resources sorry guys it's in resources so if you come over the resources of a uh, text for instance this one right here we have our Hulk text let's go ahead and just see this let's say we have the uh, okay I deleted these so these are not there anymore so let's see if we can have the properties of the regular text. So uh, I'm just trying to find out where I kind of like worked on that. Okay, it's not here. But yeah, I think it's here. But uh, sorry, guys, really, I can't. I can't find it. Really, apologies for that. So uh, basically, that's how you can uh, play around and create a uh, bitmap text. It's actually much more fun to use, much more better than the uh, default text, which is uh, this one here. So it says displays text on the screen. So from now, I think I'll just uh, experiment and have fun with the bitmap text because this allows you to really um, customize your uh, text. Yeah. So very good. So this is what I was actually looking for. It said for a pixel type font, you must disable the smooth checkbox related to your texture in the game resources to disable anti-aliasing. So we have to uh, disable smooth checkbox. And there's another warning here that says the font size is stored directly in the font. So if you want to change the font, we have to export the font using the editor. And then, you know, like, uh, like I said here, if we go back to, uh, snow bee or whatever we have to change the size here export it again then our font can increase so that's one slight disadvantage but once you are when you start working on your game you can just decide and say hey this is the font size i'm going to work with and you stick to that font size and you can actually have a uh, swell time and i think with extensions you can have you know a uh, plugin that can actually reduce the font for a bitmap font who knows maybe the future we can actually have that uh, functionality in G develop but there it is it says we need to go to the uh, resources of our project and then once we go to those resources we can actually change re, uh, the properties so it says we can choose a resource to uh, display its properties so each resource we click like this PNG we can actually see the smooth the image right there so if i actually want that to be a smooth i can click that but since it's pixel i'm just going to leave it here because smoothing is going to add the anti-aliasing right so if i have this so our bitmap font for hulk it's actually not showing that uh, option so yeah good so if we uh, exactly so this is what i was trying to like kind of like you know point out if i click the uh, smooth the image I'm not going to get that crispiness because it's going to uh, add anti alias into this, which is not something I really want for my uh, game because I want it to appear really a uh, point, not uh, linear or trilinear, you know, kind of like that. So, this, if it's checked, make sure you uncheck this or else you're going to have, uh, you're going to have your text not being super uh, crispy, like so when it's loaded to memory. Right. So, uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you want me to do more tutorials on the bitmap font, I can really sit down and create one, import it, and kind of like bring it in. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next devlog. And hopefully, I am going to change the entire uh, text for the game so I can have something, you know, especially with the dialogue. Because I actually made the dialogue using the uh, default text. Let me just maximize this. I used that using the default text and I didn't really like how uh, it came out. So, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you uh, kind of like, like this and subscribe, it really go a long way. This guy has been biting me. Just make sure I get rid of this guy. I think there's a problem. I spawned an enemy and I can't. I think the enemy is not dying. <laughs> So I think I must have messed with something somewhere. All right, so there's a problem. There's a problem and I need to find out. So I'm not destroying the enemy, but he can hurt me. That's so unfair. I'll debug that and see you guys in the next lesson.